we are taking you on a champagne brunch train ride, offering endless mimosas. Take a look. Give us a little history of really the dining experience. So trains, you go back 100 years, was the, was the only way to go across the country, and mm -hmm. you were on the train for several days. So railroads competed with each other to develop the absolute best food and drink on the train. Colorado trains had some great dining cars, and we love providing a dining car in southern Colorado that reflects that history. I love that you have that. You've had a wine train. I mean, the wine train we know about. It's fabulously successful because yes. it's all Colorado wines, as is the Champagne Brunch train. And a lot of people don't realize that there are 160 wineries in Colorado producing some very good wines. They have definitely upped their game in the last decade, Absolutely. for sure. I know I've been trying them um, along the way, and I've been pleasantly surprised. Now, let's also talk about, you know, what else people and your guests, you see it here in the, in the video, what else can they enjoy while they're riding the train? Well, you know, the the reason people want to ride our train is because they've come to the San Luis Valley for the weekend. They stayed in a hotel, they climbed uh, the sand dunes, or they went to Zapata Falls. They wake up on Sunday morning. They don't really want to go back to Denver yet. Yeah. The weekend's not over. What can we do? And so you sleep in, and at 1230, you get on the brunch train. And it's just a really relaxing way to end your visit to the top of the world. I mean, the San Luis Valley is 100 miles long, 75 miles wide at 7,500 feet. There's wildlife, there's national parks, there's everything you wanna see and you're worn out. So what better to do when you're worn out than just look out the window at the scenery and the wildlife and and not enjoy drive, right. not have to fight traffic, not have to do any of that, just enjoy all of it as you go. Exactly. All right, so are there any new changes in, let's say, the menu or drinks or anything like that? So so the, the it's a brunch menu, but this is not like one of the big Denver hotel brunches where you go in and gorge yourself. This, These are really reasonably sized plates. We do have a bottomless mimosa, which um, everybody loves that idea. Uh, <laughs> and, and I really think that, for me, the nice thing about it is conversation, looking out the window, just being with people. We have a lot of people who come down from Denver for the wine train who drive down on a Friday night and they stay the whole weekend because they've just gotten to the valley and they're enjoying it so much. Some people dress up. Some people, we had a, a group last Saturday that was in formal gowns, three women from uh, Denver in formal gowns. And, we love that. We've also had some cowboys on the train. so uh, Making an event of it. I absolutely. mean, that's what they're doing. Okay, so talk about the, the areas where they can actually board, because that's so, we've got to plan our trip. Right, right. So you, you drive to Alamosa, either down 25 and 160 or down 285 through South Park, and you get on. Uh, you, you, there are a number of hotels, nice hotels in Alamosa. Uh, you get on at the historic 1908 depot in, uh, in Alamosa. It's a, it's a two-hour trip, and... Um, there's usually a little music on the train, and um, we're known for our music. I mean, we just finished the concert season for mm -hmm. this summer, and we're known for music, so a little music on the train helps, too. I love music on the train, that is for sure. What kind of plants and animals and things we can see? I've actually been in that area, and it's so beautiful. It is beautiful, and we often see antelope, a herd of elk. Um, we have seen bears, although... Uh, with the forest fire last year, the the bears have moved on because they can't hide and look for their prey nearly as well. But the Alamos and Wildlife Refuge, National Wildlife Refuge, mm -hmm. is right along the track. And several people have said, whoa, when I get off the train, that's where I want to go next because you can walk around there with your binoculars. You can see all kinds of small animals, otters, uh, waterfowl. It's a, it's a terrific place to take a nice afternoon walk. This is also a great thing to do if you're trying to inspire new generations to truly appreciate train travel, oh, right? I mean, people seem to just really be grasping onto that. Well, and we have a historic train. The The cars were really designed to run in the 1950s uh, streamliner era, and people get on the train and they're just delighted by the full dome cars where they can look out the window, by the Mardi Gras Club car, which is very historic, the open air cars. So a lot of reasons to ride the train, food, drink, scenery, uh, wildlife, and conversation. So much fun. The Rio Grande Scenic Railroad Champagne Brunch Train Ride will be Sundays now through December 29th. So go ahead and purchase your tickets online, very easy to remember, at coloradotrain.com or go ahead and call this number, 877-726-7245. Again, 877-726-7245, Rio Grande Scenic Railroad, paid for today's segment. Stay with us.